What's going on guys, it's Gino from Modern Accessory Review and today I want to talk to you about my favorite and best wireless earbuds for the price so far in 2020. After trying many many different types of wireless earbuds including the AirPods Pros, the Google Pixel Buds, the Microsoft Surface earbuds, I don't think anything is better than the Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus when it comes down to the whole package. Now let me show you exactly what I mean by this after the intro. First and foremost, the Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus are currently sitting at only $150. This is $150 less than the AirPods Pro, $50 less than the Microsoft Surface Earbuds, and $20 less than the Google Pixel Buds. Now, by now you are probably thinking that the cheaper price of the Samsung Galaxy Buds affects its capabilities, but that's not the case. We have a free app that's available for both iOS and Android users that gives us a multitude of features like the ambient sound that allows you to hear your surroundings, which is nice if you're on a run and you want to hear the cars going by, or if you're just having a casual conversation in the gym, it allows you to hear the other person. We also have an equalizer mode that allows you to change the audio based on your liking. Now I will say there isn't a huge difference in the audio when the equalizer settings are changed, but it's definitely noticeable and it's always great to have. There is also more within the app like the find my earbuds feature that allows you to set off a little alarm on the earbuds, so if you drop an earbud and it rolls away and you can't find it, then you can hopefully find it from this little sound, and I will play a test for you guys as you can see right here. And we can also edit some of the controls within the app that'll change the touchpad on each of the earbuds. Now, why am I mentioning all of this? Well, the Google Pixel Buds have an app, but it isn't available for iOS users. The AirPods Pro have a ton of features, but it's $150 more. And don't worry, I'm not forgetting about the Microsoft Surface Buds, but let's just be honest, they're 80 bucks more, so enough said there. Now, no wireless earbuds that I've ever had for a long period of time have fit better than the Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus. I don't know why, but even the AirPods Pros don't fit in my ear as well as I'd like them to. In fact, if I had to rate these four wireless earbuds from first to last in terms of the fit and comfort, then it would be the Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus up front, followed by the Google Pixel Buds, and then the AirPods Pro, and then lastly, the Microsoft Surface earbuds. I don't know about you, but whenever I buy myself a pair of wireless earbuds, I want to be able to work out in them without them falling out, and to be comfortable for a long amount of time for at least two hours. Now, the reason these earbuds fit so many people so well is because of these fit wings on the sides right here. We have three different sizes of these wings, and they pretty much just seal in your ear like this. Of course, we also have three different ear tip sizes to assure that you really do get the best fit possible. Now, the super tight seal that we get acts as a blocker from background noise, which is really great because unfortunately, we don't have noise cancellation in these earbuds. But I do want to mention that the Google Pixel Buds and the Microsoft Surface earbuds don't have noise cancellation either. Only the AirPods Pro do but of course, an extra $150. Now I will say that the battery life in the Galaxy Buds Plus really shines against their competitors. We currently get 11 hours straight of playtime with a total of 22 hours with the charging case, which really blows my mind. The AirPods Pros only gives us about five hours of straight playtime with a total of 24 hours with the charging case. Whereas the Google Pixel Buds gives us the same five hours of playtime and 24 hours total with the charging case. And the Microsoft Surface Buds have eight hours of playtime with a total of 24 hours with the charging case. So overall, the Buds Plus really beats its competitors by hours when it comes to the battery life. Now when it comes to the call quality and the microphones, I do believe that the AirPods Pros and the Microsoft Surface Buds are tied for first, and then the Samsung Galaxy Buds and the Google Pixel Buds are tied for second. And I also have an audio test for you guys, so here it is. So as you guys can tell, the audio on the Buds Plus isn't really incredible, but it's not terrible either. 
definitely let me know what you guys think about these earbuds audio in the comment section below. Let's get back to the video. Now, in terms of the sound quality, all of these earbuds are very similar. Every single one of them, except the Google Pixel Buds, has the equalizer that does allow you to change the sound to your liking, like I mentioned earlier. But I would have to give the winner to the overall best sound, probably to the AirPods Pro, and then the Galaxy Buds Plus, and then the Google Pixel Buds, and then the Microsoft Surface earbuds. Now remember, all of these earbuds sound good in my opinion, but it definitely does come down to personal preference. And even though the equalizer settings are nice to have, it doesn't really change the audio quite as much as I'd like it to. I suggest that you go out there and find out what you like the best in audio, because all of these earbuds are very similar and will be good for the average person. Last thing I want to mention here is that the Buds Plus are IPX2 certified, which means they can withstand droplets of water at a 15 degree angle, and you don't have to worry about sweat or light rain. Now the other three earbuds that we talked about are IPX4 certified, which means it's resistant to splashes of water from any direction, so you don't have to worry quite as much. But overall, the water resistance isn't a huge deal for myself. Final thoughts here, the Galaxy Buds Plus are the cheapest among its competitors, with an equalizer setting, incredible battery life, good sound, an app that's available for both iOS and Android users, and probably the best fit possible. I think these earbuds are definitely the best for the package so far in 2020. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to destroy that subscribe button to see more about the latest tech and earbuds. With all of that being said, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.